setting the ground rules. Back to rescue more souls, how intrepid. Though I must say, your earlier escapade has drawn the Jailer's attention and his ire. After all, none have successfully eluded him before, except for me. Now his forces are on high alert, hunting down any errant souls that, are fa that the fabled Maw Walker may try to steal from him. It has made things quite inconvenient for me. If you and I are going to work together, we need to set a few ground rules, and you must be properly equipped. Trust not what you see in the Maw. You will tell no one of my existence. Your endeavors here are your own to accomplish. I will provide you with a Soul Keeper, an artifact that is capable of storing souls found within the Maw. By accepting the Soul Keeper and agreeing to these terms, you and I will enter into a contract with each other. You will freely share with me any valuable information you discover within the Maw. In exchange, I will allow you to purchase tools to help you survive this realm and rescue the souls you seek. Do we have a deal? Well, uh, we don't really have a choice. Will that be all? It Mo. is remarkable what you can find discarded in the Mo. I pride myself in recognizing a valuable asset when I see one. Take care of the Soul Keeper. I have no desire to go through the effort of producing another. Rule 1. I have an escape plan. Many doomed souls suffer within the Maw. You must be careful if you do not wish to join them. Your Soul Keeper can hold a small number of souls until you return to your Covenant. But that will be of little benefit if you do not survive this place yourself. There is a substance, Stygia, that is found on some creatures within the Maw. The stronger the soul, the more Stygia they have. Collect some of it for me, and I can fashion it into many things you will find quite useful. Rescue five souls, retrieve 60 Stygia. I will rule one. Always have an exit strategy. To ensure one's continued existence within the Maw, one must maintain a plan of escape at all times. Got it. 60 Stygia. It doesn't sound like a lot. But we don't have any concept right now of what this is going to take to accomplish, so let's find out. I guess these little indicators on our map are souls? I don't have a target. Alright, so we're fighting things, and we're finding souls as marked conveniently on our minimap. We'll probably want to be a little careful here. I don't know how uh, difficult the enemies could be. But while we find out, we might want to exercise a little bit of caution. We seem to have pulled an archer over to our right. Which is not going to help us very much in trying to be careful and cautious if we're pulling extra enemies. We got lucky that we were able to use Lay on Hands there, otherwise we might have been dead. I keep forgetting we have to click on these after we let them out. Oh, hello there. Oh boy, he's noticed us. No matter where. 
Your actions in the mall incur the eye of the jailer. Filling the bar will increase your threat level. Okay. Which is obviously bad. Oh, look at this. We can take this guy out, then we get to ride around on his mount. Can we fight from this? Oh, no, we can't. Oh, but look, maybe he... Ha oh, no, he disappears. Damn. Okay. <laughs> so we can steal mounts, albeit temporarily, if we're fighting. So the Stygia part was the easy part. Freeing the souls takes a little bit longer. Maybe we can get lucky and we can get the one right across from us. Uh, we're gonna have to take on both these guys first, apparently. If we can. Wait, did we lose out on that guy? I think we lost out on getting that soul because we didn't click it soon enough. That is kind of terrible. That's going to make things take a little bit longer. So we, we can't pop the cages till we know the area is clear. Alright, so we'll take this guy out first and then we will pop the cage. And now we need to get all the way back to the northeast. Would have been nice to have that mount right about now. There's one shackled up here. I wonder if we can free this guy and ride him out of here. We definitely can. Uh, I have a feeling we're not going to go that way. This pathway also looks quite questionable. Let's not do that. Seems like a way to get ourselves into trouble. Let's just follow the road, I guess. Purchase a cipher of relocation. Or to waste your breath. Teleports the caster to Venari's refuge. Must be within the maw. Okay, that's really awesome. Guess we can get rid of our flight whistle. Oh, these are limited time use, so we only have five uses of that. Sell some junk really fast. What else can we get? Items for Torghast. So a lot of stuff for Torghast. And we can add gem sockets to some gear. Add a socket to a Shadowlands item that does not already have one. Costs 7200 Stygia. Procure something of value. You seem to have a knack for drawing the Jailer's attention. This changes the terms of our agreement. Rule 2. Keep a low profile. 
Though you may wish to depart with your precious souls in tow, we now have additional matters to settle first. The eye of the jailer is upon you, and that does not bode well for either of us. Take this device. You will reinforce my wards to ensure he does not take notice of me as well. The last thing I need is a loud, inelegant mortal bringing more attention to my way. I can't have the jailer capturing me after all. I'm far too valuable. Rule 2. Keep a low profile. The Mo is no place for theatrics. Get in, get what you want, and get out. While endeavoring now to retain the jailers noticed and you, you're doomed. Anything of import you do in the mall will catch his attention. And attention is exactly what we don't want. So as we can see here, this is starting to fill up. And we have a few different tiers of attention we can have that probably First, have various negative consequences. The seekers on you. Mm -hmm. Then the towers. Then his kill squads. And after that, well, you don't want to know. Oh, good. Surgical and meticulous. That's how you stay alive. Got it. The good news is that you're safe here in my refuge. Not so out there. Remember, should a tragic fate befall you, some of that precious Stygia might slip through your fingers. So I, I guess similar to Dark Souls, if we die while we're adventuring out in the mall, we're going to drop Fred that Mortar, where we die. A day at most away from his gaze, and the Jailer will turn his attention elsewhere. Then it will be safe for you to venture out again, to acquire Stygia. For me... Stygia. Stygia. I've been pronouncing it Stygia. She just pronounced it Stygia. I like Stygia better. What do you guys think? Ah, my new partner. Let us see how long you last. That should be enough to hide us from the jailer's sight. I need you alive for the time being, at least. Now, back to business. Before you leave this cursed realm, there is one final task you must complete for me. The Maul Sworn regularly transfers souls to various blocks of Torghast from many different areas in the Maul. I happen to know of one such area. Place this beacon there so I may be informed when the next transfer happens. And if you are seen by the enemy, well, you are known for your prowess in combat, yes? Rule 3. Trust is earned. And information has a price. That's a little ways away, Do on foot. the cipher I gave you? Mm-hmm. That's right. You are now in my debt. Wonderful. We're in debt to a person from an interdimensional species that we know nothing about, but they know a lot about us. I have a feeling that the more we find out about the brokers, the more ominous their existence is going to be uh, for our future. I mean, sure, right now they're helping us out, it seems. Stygian Incinerator. I mean, I kind of want to go up there. Oh, what is that? Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't even want to find out what this is. Charred Behemoth. Yeah, I think we're going to try to avoid this. I can't imagine fighting this is a good idea. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe we'll drop it. That's basically our only hope. Not seeing a lot of other players around. There's a couple, but I wouldn't want to drag this on anything but a huge group. Okay, it gave up. Let's take this thing out. I'm out of range. Whew, okay. Still took us down to half health. Oh, it's Bane. You will never escape the law. Um, bye, Bane. Good seeing you for a half a second, though. You will never escape the mall. Was that Sylvanas yelling or just some random Forsworn person? Mall Sworn. 
Whatever you'd like to call them. Oh, we can collect herbs in the mall too, that's cool. Okay, it was the voice of this uh, Tower Inquisitor that we heard. I mean, without the prospect of mounting up and outrunning everything, you just kind of have to fight everything as you go. Okay, people are attacking this thing, and I am inclined to help them out. Don't know if he's going to drop anything cool, but we can find out. Of course we pulled this guy as well. Uh, he didn't really have a lot. He didn't even really seem to have a lot of Stygia. I mean he had two. That's one more than most enemies who had drop Stygia have. But In the grand scheme of things I don't think that that's actually a lot. Speaking of that we should start tracking some of our relevant currencies Reservoir Anima and Stygia, that's a good place to start Sometimes it feels like there's a lot of enemies in an area, and then other areas, there really doesn't seem to be a lot going on. I trust you are not followed. I will have opportunities for trade in the future, Maul Walker. I am certain our paths will cross again. Black ooze covers Bane's mace. It is caved in the skull of many Maul Sworn. One of your associates was taken into Torghast. It sounds as if he put up quite the fight. Perhaps he could also prove useful, if he were to be rescued. Tread carefully when the eye of the Jailer falls upon you, mortal. It would be frightfully inconvenient to lose a trading partner with such potential. Yeah, we, we bet. Hopeful news. The terms of our bargain have been met. You may depart with the souls you acquired. Perhaps the fate of this bane is of interest to you or your allies. I suggest you return to Oribos and consult them. No need to rush. After all, those held within Torghast are tortured for centuries. Kindly remember, do not tell anyone about our arrangement. Discretion is key between business partners, after all. It's weird. You know, we have to do this because she's telling us we have to keep it secret. But, you know, from a character standpoint, like, why wouldn't we tell somebody about this? Seems a little suspicious. Procure. You really shouldn't linger here. Okay. The jailer doesn't like having his toys taken away. Um, I bet. Even once he discarded. Go on, back to Arbus with you. Yeah, sure, that's great. Back to Arbus with us. There is 
much to be done. Damn it, Bolvar, look at us when we talk to you. The darkness of the Maw lingers upon you. What news do you bring? We all have our burdens to bear. Bane suffers within Torghast, but at least we know that he yet lives. Rushing to his rescue would prove disastrous without a plan of attack. I will see to preparing one. In the meantime, I suggest you bring the souls you rescued to Elysian hold. The Kyrian are vital to the Shadowlands. If Bastion remains in turmoil, then all might soon be lost. I'm sure whatever covenant you choose, it probably just has a substitution here. Place, covenant name. <laughs> and other than that, it's, it's probably the same quest, I guess? The balance must be restored. Alright, so... We're going back to Elysian Hold. Do we have a quick way? I'm assuming we just don't have a quick way of getting there. Uh, the way that there was a quick way to get to our Order Halls. From Dalaran. So we're going to fly. That seems to be quick enough, I guess. You are seen. Our brothers and sisters are spread thin fighting the Forsworn, maintaining order among aspirants waiting to ascend, and countless other duties. The willing souls you recovered from the Maul will be a great boon to our capabilities in these dire times. Go to Hafis at once. He has long been searching for aid in activating some of our Sanctum's most powerful features. It is time we saw Elysian Hold brought to its full potential. Go in service. You stand before the Ascended. I could feel their presence as soon as you brought them to the hold. What a momentous occasion. As thanks for your efforts in recovering the anima and souls we now have available, you may decide which of Elysian's hold's features we upgrade first. Once activated, it shall expand our capabilities to help not only Bastion, but all the Shadowlands. Do not worry, as you continue to recover anima and willing souls, we will activate them all in time. For now, a single upgrade must suffice. Ooh, and we get, um, a piece of our set gear. Very cool. Discipline in all things. Okay, uh, well, in that case, show us the Sanctum. I think I want to unlock the command table and check that out. It would be cool to have the transportation network and make it easier to get around, but like he said, we'll eventually unlock everything. Uh, getting the anima conductor is a good idea. Let's go with the command table so we can check it out. Courage, steal your heart. A wise decision. It will take some time to activate, but all good things are worth waiting for, are they not? Dangerous to go alone. There is one last thing you must do before we can act to clean up Denathrius's chaos. You must have a soul bind. All Kyrian undergo this sacred ritual, albeit typically many eons before they stand before the Archon herself. Soul Guide Delia will guide you in this process. Seek her out in the chamber below. Archon shield you. Uh, yeah, but first... Let's equip our first piece of awesome Kyrian plate gear. Alright, it's a start. It's a slow start. But it's a start. The soul binding chamber is this way. Oh, hi, Pelagos. It's nice to see you again. Funny that you should show up right now. What troubles you? To soul bind with another is not an irrevocable bond. However, it is not to be entered into lightly. You will experience one another's past. Your hopes, fears, dreams, your very memories, if any still linger. You will become kindred spirits in the truest sense. Once complete, 
Your connection will transcend physical space and make you stronger in more than mere brawn. So we're gonna unlock Pelagos first. Aspirant Clea, thank you for joining us on up. this sacred occasion to witness the bonding of this outsider with Aspirant Pelagos. Pelagos? Clea, they saved me. And many others. It does make sense. I would be honored, Soul Guide. I just hope I can keep my bond with Clea as well. You shall. This ancient device shall allow your souls to connect. Simply reach out to one another. All right. Let's do Have it. you read anything interesting lately? Feel everything by the Archon. What a life you have lived. You seek guidance. The bo to bond souls is but the first step. You must now explore its potential. Just as Pelagos will gain strength from you, so too shall you grow from him. As your bond grows over time, you will touch deeper into one another's souls, and so your strength shall increase. All you must do is place your hand upon the forge of bonds to augment your bond. There is no price to pay. The only limitation is your connection to our sacred covenants. Okay. Archon watch over here. So depending on our renowned rank, we can only go so deep into the soulbind trees and we will unlock more of our soulbind characters as we progress in Renown. So for Pelagos here, starting off, we have Combat Meditation. Divine Toll increases your mastery by 350 for 10 seconds and occasionally expels sorrowful memories. Walking through sorrowful memories extends the effect. Oh, interesting. That's cool, it adds a gameplay mechanic, I like that. And now we need to start getting conduits. That's all we can do with them for right now. This thing is pretty cool. I liked how it assembles itself. What troubles you? Oh, we're getting conduits now. Here's a potency conduit. Divine Toll has 40% chance to cast three extra times on the main target. Yeah, that seems good. Consecration heals you for 103. That's really awesome. I'm kind of hoping this would extend to allowing Consecrate to heal party members, maybe? It says heals you. Divine Steed's duration is increased by 50%. A conduit for good. While the gifts your bond shall bring you are substantial, you may also empower yourself further through the use of conduits. Conduits act to channel the energy of your soul bind into your form more directly, increasing your potential in a myriad of ways. Use the ones I have given you as a test of this power, but fear not. You will find others as you aid the Shadowlands. Together we are strong. So from what I understand, conduits can drop off of most contents. Um, maybe they're primarily a bonus drop in dungeons, but I feel like you can get them from a bunch of different kinds of content. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Oh, do we have to click these? We do have to put them in our library, so let's click on each of them. We're gonna go with this for now. So we have to choose a path through here. And depending on which path we pathway we go, we'll unlock certain conduit slots. So for now we're gonna go with uh, the 40% chance of casting divine 
toll three extra times. The reason being is that this is going to help us whether we're doing DPS or tanking or healing. So we're going to go here. It is done. May the power within your soul serve you well. And then I think we can change paths. Now how does this work? Are we locked into a path? It seems like we can just change our path randomly. Uh, let's see if we're able to do this. So we can just apply them all. But we're gonna we're only gonna be able to have access to one of them at a time. But apparently it's free swappable. Maybe when we're in a rested zone. Together we rise. You have been fully inducted into our sacred covenant, Ma Walker, and may stand tall forevermore as a Kyrian. There will be many challenges ahead of us. We shall face them together. For now, return to Polmark Adrestes and inform him that your training is complete. We are few in number as of late, and I am sure he will have need of you. Archon, watch over you. On behalf of our glorious Archon, you may follow the path always toward a brighter tomorrow. So we got Renown Rank 2. We got our stamina buff from that. The High Lord calls. We have received word from High Lord Fordragon using urging you rather to return to him in Oribos at once. All I know is it pertains to the Maw. You should go to him with haste. Anything involving that dark place must be our top priority. Stay true to our eternal trust. Alright, well, yeah, we could do that. Our, our hearthstone is up again, conveniently. 